Let's now shift our attention. India's External Affairs Minister Dr. S. J. Shankar addressed the United Nations General Assembly and he said that political convenience determines responses to extremism, terrorism and violence. Now, the statement comes in the backdrop of the diplomatic wrangling with Canada. Listen to these remarks. Respect for territorial integrity and non-interference in internal affairs cannot be exercises in cherry-picking. When reality departs from the rhetoric, we must have the courage to call it out. Without genuine solidarity, there can never be real trust. This is very much the sentiment of the Global South. Meanwhile, Canada's ambassador to the United Nations in his remarks at the UNG has said that he is worried about foreign interference in his country. Cannot bend the rules of state-to-state -state relations for political expediency. Because we've seen and continue to see the extent to which democracies are under threat through various means of foreign interference. But the truth is, if we don't adhere to the rules that we've agreed to, the very fabric of our open and of our free societies may start to tear. Jay Shankar said the world is witnessing exceptional period of turmoil, while adding that the days when a few nations set the agenda and expected others to fall in line are over now, and this cannot go on forever. He also hailed India's G20 success at the UNGA. India's external affairs minister also praised the country's moon mission. Now, earlier in the United States, the Indian external affairs minister also met UN chief Antonio Guterres and the president of the United Nations General Assembly, Dennis Francis. The UNGA chief stated India plays an unparalleled role in the global mission for a better and more sustainable world. After New York, the Indian external affairs minister will travel to Washington, D.C.